Hey guys, welcome to Richard in the Kitchen. Tonight we're going to be serving up some Nolan style barbecue grilled shrimp. It's real easy to do. It takes about 45 minutes to do this, but I guarantee you we're going to serve this up with some toasted French bread and maybe a bowl of white rice. I haven't decided yet, but uh, let's get started and I'll show you how to do this. First thing we want to do is make our marinade. I've got a half teaspoon of lemon juice, about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, some Creole seasoning. I will leave uh, the brand and the kind I'm using in the, the video description. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper in there, about a quarter cup of white wine, and again, something that I'm using that uh, I've never used before but I'll leave a description in that and I'll tell you how you can order that. Give this a good whisk and add our shrimp. I'm using super colossal shrimp today. Look how big that thing is. With the tails on, I've already taken the shell off, deveined them, and we're just going to dump our shrimp into our marinade. Get your hands down in there, give it a good mix. And now we can put this in the fridge for a while while we prepare our sauce. While our shrimp are marinating in the fridge, we'll go ahead and start our sauce in a hot skillet. Add about a quarter cup of olive oil, some finely diced onions. You only wanna cook these onions for a couple of minutes or so and we'll add, once we get that browned a little bit, we'll add some garlic for about another 45 seconds. After your onions have started to just barely brown, we'll go ahead and add our garlic in there and keep this stuff going. I mean, don't stop stirring it because you don't want your garlic to burn and your on onions to overcook. After you get your shrimp peeled, save the shells because we're going to use that to put in this sauce. We'll discard them later, but right now, we're going to need them. Okay, then you add some Worcestershire sauce. Look at all that brown stuff on the bottom of that pan. And then we'll deglaze with some dry white wine. Stir that in there. Then we'll add our shrimp peels. Give it a good stir. Add a quarter of a lemon, split up into slices, and just let that simmer on low heat. We're going down to low heat now for about seven, eight minutes. After about five minutes, we're gonna add some more Cajun seasoning, some crushed black pepper, and about a teaspoon of paprika. Give that a good stir. We only got about three more minutes left for our sauce to thicken. And we'll set that aside and start getting our shrimp ready for the skewers. Our sauce is done. At this point, you can go ahead and turn off your heat. And then what we'll do now is strain the sauce. What you want to do now is get your strainer and a good sized bowl and go ahead and pour your sauce mixture into your strainer <clears throat> and really press that down because you want to get as much of that juice out of your sauce, your shells, your lemon and everything in there. At this point you can set that aside and uh, we'll start assembling our shrimp on our skewers. We've got our grill firing up outside. I've assembled one skewer. I'm only going to be using nine pieces of shrimp tonight because it's just me and my dog. But basically, you use any kind of skewers you want. I'm using metal ones. They're kind of semi-flat. That keeps the, the shrimp from twirling around on you when you're moving them and flipping them on the grill. The uh, thing about this is it's really simple to do. It only takes about six minutes on the grill. Because it doesn't take long, shrimp long to cook. 
But anyway, I've got four on one and five on another. And uh, we'll get these on the grill as soon as our uh, grill comes up to temperature. Once your shrimp comes off the grill, go ahead and add your sauce back to your warm skillet. We're only going to be using about medium low heat here. Then once you do that, you add your shrimp to the skillet. Add a little parsley, and we'll give that a quick stir. Now you only want to go about a minute, two minutes on this. Give that sauce to coat your shrimp. Man, I tell you what, I can't wait to eat this. It looks good, doesn't it? Now the sinful part of this dish is butter. <laughs> It's definitely going to, what you want to do, you want to whisk that in a little at a time. I've cut these, uh, this butter up into smaller pieces. We'll let that melt. And I'm using probably three quarters of a stick of butter on this. I'll tell you what, uh, your arteries won't love you on this one. Anyway, you continue to add butter until it's all melted. And there you have it. That's the color you're looking for on the final product. Kind of move your skillet off the heat to, and stir this around to finish up melting your, what, your little butter you got left there. Man, look at that. Don't that look good? How about that? All right, let's plate this up and give it a taste test. Right. Look at this. <laughs> Just the right amount of spice, a little bit of heat, not much. This stuff's good. Give it a try. Your family will love it. Uh, your tongue will definitely love it. Hey, I'll see you next time, and be nice to somebody, guys. Bye-bye.